Okay, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a video walkthrough of the new Inkwell um, Press Live Well Planner. Um, the first thing is the covers are thick. Um, very, very, very nice. Very much like a, um, a hardcover book. Um, and I'm really glad that they have a, a kind of a matte um, finish that you could wipe off, but that's not... Um, you know, real shiny. Um, I did get the ombre scales without personalization. Um, I just couldn't decide which one I liked the most. And um, part of me really, with this coloring, I really um, wasn't sure I wanted gold foil. Um, I really wish it had been this great coppery color uh, like the coil. Um, so I just left it alone and maybe I'll do something different with it later. Um, when it came, just solid gray lining in here, and then the um, little clip-in, clip-out ruler um, was attached, and it's really easy to just hook one side and snap it right in there. So, um, And depending on whether you want it to um, really stick out or just stick out a tiny bit, um, you can kind of just, again, click one side in and decide where you want to put it. So. That's a nice handy little ruler. Uh, the very first page obviously gives you a place to fill in your personal information. You get a year at a glance. You get a goals page. Um, I like that it allows a spot for like a, a mission statement if you wanted to do uh, some sort of a mission statement. And then it gives you sections for each of these um, six areas, personal, social, financial, health and fitness, house projects, and then dream big. So some goal planning areas, um, which is nice. Um, important dates, as most of you can guess, birthdays, anniversaries, um, something like that. Uh, in case you were wondering, there are um, 12 lines under uh, each month. Um, so if that's something you wanted to know, now you know. Um, I know that was important to me. My month of October has a lot of events. And so um, I was glad to see that I could actually fit everybody on October. Um, I shouldn't have a problem with the rest of the months, but we have a lot of October activities in my family. So um, the same quote that many of you may have seen from an unboxing video uh, that was on the front sticker, The Secret, um, to getting ahead is getting started, which I love. So that's nice. And then you have a first, there's a lined note sheet that happens to be left front side. This is the December tab and I'll try to see. These are nice tabs here. Um, there's a lined sheet that's on the front. I kind of do a modified form of bullet journaling in my planner. So I think I will probably use this page as the monthly like master task list um, because I think it'll be nice to be able to just pick up the tab and know that I can turn to the monthly spread or to the task list for that month. So that's how I think I'm going to use this page in this planner. Um, then you have a great uh, two page spread um, for each month and I'll kind of give you a closer view. Um, they do have, uh, the holidays marked and there is a section, uh, a column on the side there for notes, um, as well as, uh, a little quick grid of the upcoming, um, month down here in the corner. So there is January. I mean, this is December. I'm sorry. Um, because it started, um with the extra month. So this is December um, of 2014. And then if you um, didn't start your planner till January, you obviously will have the next month. This is the mission board, which I think is probably one of my favorite parts of this planner. Um, it has a section for me time, a section for personal goals, health and fitness, house plans, be social, dates and events. This is just a little um, like grid 
uh, section so you could doodle or draw or make notes. There's a little um, winter has arrived. This little um, page here, um, the, the color scheme and kind of the note, uh, the little note here, um, it changes uh, each month, which is something that I didn't uh, particularly know when I ordered the planner. I had seen a picture of kind of this um, kind of honeycomb mission board, and I loved that. Um, but in real life, um, the colors are so much more beautiful than I had even imagined. And the fact that it um, is different each month is something that I really, 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 really liked. Um, so the very next page um, goes on and it says notes and ramblings. So you get a nice um, page of notes there at the beginning of the month. And then it starts, for me, I ordered the flex layout. So then it starts my week um, at a glance. Um, so you have here your um, uh, date, um, day of the week and your date. And then you have your wide open space for your planning. You have a section for your meals, for home and for fitness. But if you wanted to use these um, little areas for something else, you could easily modify that. Um, I actually really like those divisions. So again, something that I was really attracted to um, about this planner is there were very, very, very few things that I thought I would want to modify um, in any way. Um, the color um, changes each month and there are four colors. Um, so they kind of rotate um, back throughout for the next. So there are three cycles uh, of those colors. Um, so you have Monday through Thursday kind of on the left and then you have Friday, Saturday and Sunday on the right. Uh, I love, some people like different, but I do love that the weekend um, is together. Um, and then you have a notes page or a notes section on each of your weekly spread pages. So that gives you a nice little spot there. Um, I know I had several people who wanted to see kind of a page by page. So obviously this is, you know, each page here. And just to let you know, then you get through all of the weekly spreads and you have another two pages of lined notes uh, for that month. And again, this is the next, this is the January tab. And so I think that this page for me is going to be a master list. You turn to January and you've got the beautiful yellow color. Um, and then again, the, the mission board. And as you can see, again, gorgeous. And then it has, this one has this ready, set, go, um, statement. Um, so then you just get into the thing. So it's, it's notes and ramblings, January's, um, weekly spreads are yellow as you get, um, to them, something to note in case it is important to people. Like for example, uh, February starts on a Sunday, so it doesn't bleed. They, they keep your week intact. So if um, the month ends in the middle, obviously, of a week, then you can still see your whole week at a glance. You don't have to go to another month. So that's good to know. Um, you have more note pages here, and I'm going to flip um, kind of monthly. There's February. February's gorgeous mission board um, with the Be Brave, which I just love. So cute. Um, February is kind of this nice, this is kind of a pink to peach. Um, I like how this kind of is kind of an ombre effect. Um, I'll flip quickly to the end February. We're into March. We switch to green. You get a Hello Spring. Um, again, still the same, the notes and rambling, gorgeous green, you get to the end of March, we're back to blue for April, um, so we have yellow in January, and then kind of the um, pinkish tones in February, kind of the greens in March, so we're switching through those. Um, April, 
and again. It says onward and upward and again, more of that fun, fun mission board wonderfulness. Um, April's spreads are kind of that blue, icy blue um, into May. Quick look at the mission board, which is awesome. Um, into the June, trying to flip quickly here. Nice summer looking stuff. Again, June. Um, we're into then July. These colors in real life are just gorgeous. Um, so again, the notes and ramblings, you've got all the same kind of pages repeating throughout here. Um, I did have a, somebody ask a question at one point. Um, so, oops, sorry. They ask about the holidays are noted um, on the monthly as well as on the weekly pages. That's not focusing really well, but that does say Independence Day. Um, We'll get back to August and it's gorgeous mission board that says you've got this. So if you like those little kind of inspirational quotes and that sort of thing, it's neat um, to have them on those mission boards. September and it's beautiful fall with the little leaves. Um, I like that the, the um, colors change each month, but I also like that there's just um, four colors and they're much more um, subdued. I think it's really kind of an elegant and mature kind of layout. Um, October, beautiful. November, be thankful. Um, there's a little note um, which I think is really cute in November that reminds you um, to order your planner. Um, and it says leap year's coming, which I just think is real fun. I didn't think about 2016 being a leap year, but I do like the quick little reminder here. Um, that's kind of the only variation. All of the um, all of the notes and ramblings pages I've seen have all been very consistent um, until you get to this little November. Uh, quick reminder there. So again, uh, I'm sorry, more pages, um, December, and then we're back to um, the December uh, mission board. So um, everything's kind of, you know, as you can imagine, pretty standard going through there. Then you get to, again, the notes pages at the end, and you get to a tab that has fun stuff. Um, so here's the Let's Go Anywhere travel notes pages. Um, lots of places to log either driving or airline info and hotel info. Um, it looks like there's spots for three um, trips here. Um, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, um, that they will maybe release a download that we could print. Um, maybe a couple additional ones to stick in here. Um, I am lucky that I get to travel a decent amount. So I, I would like to have more than, than three. Um, but I think for a lot of people that that might be plenty or too many. I don't know. Um, the gift list for who you're shopping for, um, ideas, um, the item that you did purchase and the amount that you spent. So, um, if you like tracking, um, gift shopping, that's available to you. Um, a space for movies that say family favorites, date night, um, guilty pleasure or artsy, and then a space for books that says bestsellers, um, just for me, classics or motivational. And um, I would love to see a few additional pages, um, maybe with just like a book or movie header, um, and more like, more like a note sheet that maybe says, you know, more movies or more books. Um, cause I would imagine that these are great, but my list will get much longer than that. Um, so this is the first page. There's a notes section, and this is the very first page. Um, I was super excited to see that there are lots of lined um, notes in the beginning of the planner um, with each month, but then there are also grid notes here at the end, which um, was super exciting to me. And the um, 
you have the first thing that I wrote in my planner and the only thing I had written in it before I did this video. Um, I have to see uh, how pens are going to like write on the paper and make sure that I like the way that the highlighters look. Um, I also wanted to make sure that like nothing was going to bleed um, through and absolutely nothing is. This paper is, is great. It's really nice. Um, so you can see here, um, I used a couple of different um, pens and highlighters just to kind of test it. And I left myself a little more room to test a few more. <coughs> Excuse me. If I happen to um, want to try some more out later this year. So <coughs> more notes. Pardon me. There's the cute little feather and a place to put the date and the subject. And you've got several of these. They're all gridded, all gridded, and you'll get through to them. Then you'll have your 2016, a nice page here. Um, I would like to see, and I do think I'll add a, <coughs> maybe like a future planning page, um, something similar to kind of maybe like the important dates uh, at the front. Um, just so um, that maybe with even, even just with the first six months of the next year, um, I know as I get towards October, November, I start getting dates for the upcoming year and it would be nice um, to have a spot for that. Um, here's the little folder here that has a place for everything. Um, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, it is two-sided. I kind of have all the little pieces tucked in here um, that were uh, in my planner box. I just stuck them in there for right now. Um, and then this is the accordion kind of folder here at the end and the string to kind of closure it. Um, it seems like it's pretty nice. The um, sides uh, aren't too thin. I think it'll hold up fairly well. Um, I would like to see, um, I've ordered some May Designs uh, notebooks and I would love to see if they maybe fit in here or in here, how they, where they would go. Um, I don't plan on carrying a bunch of them around, um, but I usually have um, kind of a project notebook um, going on um, and I carry around different ones at different times. So I think it would be nice to have that. So um, that's kind of a walk through. I had been asked to kind of do a little bit of a page by page, so that's probably way more information than some of you want, but um, hopefully that gave you a good idea, and I apologize for um, the quality of the video. I was just trying to do it um, quickly as opposed to maybe as efficiently, um, so and I'm not really used to filming a lot of videos, but uh, all in all, I just have to say that so far, so good. Um, I really, really, really like um the inkwell planner and i really can't wait to just kind of start diving in and using it um and getting um the time to kind of learn a little more about it and write more in it so um that is the little planner this is the ombre scales and it's the flex layout have a great night